what's up spiritual gang gang love namaste and you know we up in here um today i'm gonna do things a little bit different i'm gonna let y'all see the cards i really want y'all to see it i do got my shake so please be mindful of me sipping okay my smoothie i made okay so let's get it's on the starting today we're gonna do an ancestral reading all right um, first I was going to do self-love, but I meditated and spoke with my ancestors and, um, my spirit guides and then of the aspect and they said we should do an ancestral review. So, um, that's what we'll do, all right? We would love to do it. Be talking to a black male or a black female or your, your ancestor could be a black male or a black female that's here today. Okay, um. Somebody, your ancestors want you to know that you need to stop running from shadow work. Um, it's your healing, okay? Also, I got like a mother set up um, double cross as well. Um, let me see. Let's see. What do you, your ancestors, what does collective ancestors want to tell them today, spirit? Or what do you guys want to tell them today? What's here with me today? Angel of career. Somebody here, you've been working on your career, your finances, things of that aspect. Um, there has been some arguing at the bottom of the deck. Angel of music, you can hear this in your music, or there is arguing about your career field that you went in. You can hear this in your music. Um, your ancestors want to, yeah, because there's nobody in the picture anymore. You know, answers, no, you guys. You are divinely protected, okay? Um, and this has got out sacral chakra. Somebody here, you need to work on your sacral chakra. Um, it's open by sexuality, freedom, pleasure. Um, and it's blocked by intimacy issues, restriction, and abuse, okay? Um, the affirmation for that, if I am a whole being who feels pleasure, stay with me. I am a whole being who feels pleasure, 220 and 222. The significance of somebody. Today we got the world lit, okay? Um, and let's see what else we want to see. So somebody here, you're, you're divinely protected from these arguments or your, divinely, your career is divinely protected. Your life is divinely protected. Your ancestors want you to know that they're always here with you. You're never alone. I could be talking to somebody with erectile dysfunction here. The answer is yes, okay? Um, they want you to know that they always with you, they always by your side. They see the deceitful things, yeah. See the deceitful things that's going on. Tell you somebody here has been arguing. Um, they said fulfill your soul mission. You know what you're destined to do. And if you ask the question, the answer is no. This is confirmation for you. You know what your soul mission is, okay? They want you to know that you are a very, very, very powerful individual and that your name holds weight. They also want you to know that. They love you very much, and when your fingertips are cold, that's them letting you know that they're here with you. So don't feel abandoned, okay? Your ancestors have been trying to get your attention. Um, they said that somebody here could have possessive traits, um, or they want you to pay attention to somebody looking at this very, very, very possessive. They're telling you to pay attention to the red flag. Don't repeat the same ancestral pattern. They're telling you that it's a lot of arguments and this person is showing you their hand throughout these arguments. They do not appreciate how you've been being treated. They are not very happy. I get Sabrina, Bob, Bobby, Denisha, Darina, Darina, Bree, Thomas, Tommy, Thomas. They're telling you to pay attention to the red flags that whomever this person is, they're very, very, very possessive and that you deserve better, that you're not a piece of property. You're not something somebody can claim one day and then throw away the next day and then want it back out the trash. You know what I'm saying? 
ancestors want you to pay attention to your ancestral patterns. What are you repeating? What are you doing? That's absolutely like what your ancestors would have did. So you need to do something different if you're not getting the same results. If you keep getting the same results, 5, 11 o'clock, um, your ancestors want you to know that you got to do something different in order to achieve different. But you repeating behind the herd of green reapers just going to get swallowed. They say pay attention to your music because they be talking with your music and informing you on what's going on. Conversations that's been held behind your back. Things of that aspect. They're telling you the arguments that surround you. But they need you to trust in them more than ever. They say stop questioning yourself and your intuition. Yeah. Remove negative energy from around you. You said that you love somebody, okay? I love you only you. I could be talking to a Caucasian male or a female. I could be talking about them. They're telling you to go after this person that you love. Fulfill what you genuinely love. But don't, don't settle out of discouragement. They see and feel you when you're crying. They're telling you you're not alone. You've been yearning for somebody, but that's because... Either A, this is your sole purpose, or B, my bad, y'all. You've been, you face, you trigger an abandonment wound. I had to grab. Somebody is coming out of a storm and healing, not dating. Okay, what else do your ancestors want to tell you, all spirit? Xavier, Luna. You're seeing your twin flame is way more woke than they're showing you. V could be significant. Veronica, Victoria, Victory, Victor, Kanija, Kanaya. Okay, protection spiritually. Both parties, Sheree, realize they can't live without each other and ready to reunite. Don't hold on to the past or anything. That you've occurred during this journey, release and let go. Both parties are healing. Four, four, four. Heavy on protection. Somebody here has been casting confusion, or the reason why it's confusing in your twin flame dynamic is because somebody is casting confusion to keep them stuck. Oh, yeah. So things can come out confusion and confusing, and it makes you question if you're walking the right path or not. Spirit is saying, follow your heart. New cycles are about to begin. Somebody needs to take a leap of faith and step outside your comfort zone. Quan, Quantavius, Quantavis, QT, playing with magic. A Q could have been playing with magic, or they could have a letter Q in their name. So, Spirit is saying, be, be mindful of the people you allow in your energy and around you around you because not everybody has your best interest at heart. Okay, collective. Your twin flame is way more awakened than you know. And then they're showing you. They are spirit wants you to know that they're not behind the scenes healing or if they are. Yeah, this is a soul snatching spirit. All love or they're not. But we're gonna get really deeper. Oh, they're telling you they're not because they came up in reverse. Queen of Cups, be open to receive the healing and nurturing you need. Imaginative, kind, good nature, compassionate, calm, receptive, and embodiment. You've been embodying how to receive love, ancestors, party angels, spirit guides of the collective. What do you want them to know most today, importantly? Somebody here, oh, love. Or somebody that's close to you that's been around you. Has been betraying you strategically. They're using tactics and they're playing on your self-esteem. They're being very dishonest. They're playing on the fact that you have low self-esteem. Um, so they're playing on that because they know if you're operating out of brokenness, then you're going to keep choosing them. So Spirit wants you to know. Do what's best for you. 
never settle. Because we could settle for something. 10 on the clock. And miss out genuinely on the blessing because whatever you looking at or whatever you love is in this energy of dishonesty. And they're trying to strategically harm you. They're trying to strategically throw their hand at Aquarius and creep off, sneak off as if they didn't throw all them damn knives. Okay? Let me grab my other ancestral decks. Or maybe, just maybe, it was an obsessive lover that did this to them and they're telling you, don't repeat the same patterns because the lover did this to them because they were very, 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 very possessive. They looked at them like they were property 1101 on the clock, 1102. Adderall, well. okay. Spirit guys got an angel's ancestors. Next room. What do you want them to know from me? What happened to you, darling? Yeah. Look at the bottom of the deck. I shuffle. Vindictive. Somebody was plotting with event and ten. 11.33 on the clock. 11.34. This person was very mentally entrapped and very confused. Before they did pass away. This person could have been an organ donor. Or you here could be an organ donor. Yeah. Somebody here could have been... Killed in November, and there was a dark seed that was sacrificed. Somebody was a sacrificial lamb. Um, they were indulgent in dark activities. So whomever came back in. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Your ancestors. Yeah, they said this person, the first sign of this person was they were controlling. They tried to control everything they did, everything, everywhere they went, what they wore, how they act. Something could be significant about April. This isn't you. Stop acting. Somebody, your ancestors are saying, you were, they were either one, acting like something that they weren't in there telling you, don't repeat the same pattern that they did by acting like something that you're not. But this isn't you. This wasn't you when you were little. You were a very kind, loving, generous soul. Something in your life has changed you. Something in your life you allow to break you instead of make you. And they said they're sorry because they feel as if they failed you. Not showing you the love that you truly deserve so you know what to accept and what not to accept. This is a parent that was in and out. They were trying to provide, but they didn't realize the time that they were missing. And that time wasn't even that long for them. They didn't realize their purpose was to fuck up what you had going on in your life. And they didn't realize how karmic they were. And that they're very, very, very sorry because they really love you genuinely. And they'll do anything in this world to see you prevail and make it. They want you to know that they are with you spiritually. And that they will never, ever, ever, ever leave your side at the end now. Now that they know your purpose and your path, but they need you to keep walking in your purpose and your path and do not get in this vindictive energy because that's when karma is off limit. Karma can hit up both people, both parties. Don't join this vindication party. Sick because all they see is a pattern of people killing each other on repeat. Do something different in the black community. Somebody said they took their jury. That's evidence. So this person was wearing jewelry before they left. This was a cold case. 
something significant about a cell phone. They took their jury, they got their cell phone, and they want you to know that facts are going to start coming up about cold cases. They're saying get your spiritual life intact. intact. Wake up. Start repeating the same patterns cautiously or un unconsciously. This is somebody that's cautious, but chooses not to walk their path. Chooses not to walk their purpose, and they say they did the exact same thing, and they got them here. Sorry, y'all. Just to the tick for tech game is for the, the birds because it eventually turns to hate. People try to get rid of evidence. Dark sea sacrifice. I cannot keep making this up. They're trying to get rid of evidence. This was a dark sea that they sacrificed. This was somebody that was in demonic energy itself. Never woke, never woke up to their true potential because these people have their cell phone. They have their jewelry. They tried to leave no trace and burn. They tried to burn the phone in the jury. They're telling you to stop beating yourself up about them being gone. That they loved you. Would never tell you something I don't know. The route you've taken. It's giving you oops. I'm sorry, I'm tearing up. The route you're taking, they're telling you like do something different or that you are actually up for light. But you're partaking in dark energy, knowing that they got them sacrificed. Don't be like them. They said that they should have never did petty wars with you growing up. Watching you, they should have never retaliated with you because it rubs off and you pass that down to your kids without knowing. I'm sorry. What else do you want to tell me, Spirit? They want you to know that this was a rap deal. It started in the crib, or somebody here lost an infant in the crib, and the baby wants you to know that they're going to reincarnate when they get back, when you get pregnant again, but they're telling you that this was protection, something you can't see about this individual that you got a baby with, or had one with. They want you to know that it was the protection for you to walk away and choose you finally. But to cautiously keep laying down with this person will be hard on you. Somebody, they kidnapped them. This person did not go by their free will. This was a kidnapping. Rap deal. And they're telling you, you can rap. Yes, but don't indulge in dark activity because that's exactly what you'll be when you leave this earth. Your energy don't linger, but it's going to be dark. <laughs> they said they waited on you to wake up for this long. Don't jeopardize it. Don't fuck it up. Somebody here killed off somebody in January because of an animal bite. July, January, April, June. Somebody here could have gotten in a car accident. They were cautious. This is a cautious driver. Okay. You should have known that somebody here died in the prison. This was a shaking. And they want you to know the route that you've taken. 
this is where it got I said, don't be like me. 2003, 2004. Moving out of vindictive energy, winning at all costs energy. Controlling possessive energy. It gets you nowhere. I love you more than anything in this world. Because you're going to be the one to have you in the end. I said, funeral homes don't have bunk beds. If it's genuine, genuine, we care about you. And to see you try to throw your life away because of a bunch of nobodies, that when we leave this earth, they get swallowed. They don't want you to be in the pot of people that get swallowed by prison or death. Prison shaking could have been in June. I put it on top of June. yearning for somebody or they said that they were yearning for somebody consistently they never picked up their call or they did ketamine somebody needle injected this into them they had a conference before this death occurred these people were in a meeting before this death occurred Could have happened in July. Yeah, psychedelics. They want you to know. Oh, they were messing around with a dark high priestess. DHB. To somebody that lied and said that they were intuitive. And they were casting dark magic to get them stuff. So you're going to start seeing death around this individual. Tell me you don't retaliate. You hold the weight. As soon as you hop back in that energy, you leave grounds open. Crocodile. Somebody here. Lay somebody with crocodile. Lace their weed. Obsessive lover. Depressant pills. Stabbing. The person that got Krishank in prison, on the, they were depressed. They were on depressant. A crooked guard allowed them to do this. Psychedelics, steroids, obsessive co-worker, and an obsessive lover hired these people to do it. They were going to start taking accountability and you questioning your intuition. Could have happened in October. It's death over money. December. Heroin. Painkiller. Somebody here overdose. May. Heavy on crocodile. Back door. Sacrifice. Soul, my soul. Dark sea. Rap deal. Light being sacrificed, beware of gifts and ability, ability, stabbing. So they're telling you, this person has sacrificed a light being person before, whenever you're telling them. And they want you to know that you need to tap into your gift. Hold on, light being sacrificed before, aware of gift. They were not able to tap into their abilities, like I said. They don't want you to be on this side of the fence. Somebody here could have had an ancestor that did that. They're telling you that. You don't want an obsessive lover. This girl knew magic. She knew what she was doing. Don't be on that side of the fence trying to hold on to somebody that is only holding on to you because they only they are afraid of you cutting them off one day. was a back door
Un nome non chiede mai che Jax. I'm telling you, don't blame yourself. Karma caught up to them. But they saw, they saw that they were asking. They knew the repercussions. And they're just, that's why they're telling you, don't follow behind the pack. When the, when creep, when the Grim Reaper creeper comes to collect, they don't want you to be, have your name on that list to be a part of the pack. They say you do evil, you get evil back. They were involved in a setup before. Why'd you pull the plug on me? I could have pulled through. Somebody here, you pulled the plug on somebody and didn't even give them a chance to fight for their life. You thought that was what was best for them, but they telling you that they had a chance to keep pursuing and keep fighting. But it's okay that they forgive you and that they love you. And don't hold on to this and let it turn you angry, sad. That they can actually do more for you in the spiritual realm than they could have ever done in the physical. That they have enough to do much. But they said the little times always made you happy. So what? Where did you go wrong at? Where did you go left? Sorry, this is hard. Oh, all right. Why did you change? My killer hangs around you still. Cut their ass off. They act and hurt. These people, I can't cross over to the light until you forgive me. About what? Don't blame yourself. Karma caught up to me. I don't think I wanted nothing to do with you. You were a pond of our relationship. I died before, they, before getting put in the water. I'm sorry. So you got somebody that they threw in the water. That these people that sacrificed in prison before. A light seed has died around them and also a dark seed. And they want you to know that the killers still hang around you. They need to cut them off because they're acting like they hurt. And they really genuinely like you with them. This is a dark high priestess. They said, don't think they don't want nothing to do with you that you were a pond of them being hurt. A pond of unhealed trauma. And that they sorry. That they they wish they didn't rob you of the opportunity to genuinely get to know your other parent. Because they see now the long term effects. They didn't see how they ran the matrix program in itself. So stop blaming yourself because of what happened to them. There was nothing you could do with karma involved. They did these actions and they got the actions back. A family member did this to me. I love you so much. I wish I should I wish I would have showed you more. Somebody can't cross over the light until you forgive them. Don't be afraid. You're never alone. I'm here pointing you in the direction. We're more connected than you think. Somebody here just went from natural causes. This is the ancestor that you pulled the plug on. A male ancestor was here. He's telling you take care of yourself because it gives him peace. Okay? Anybody that fuck with you, I'm serving them karma. Don't retaliate. I've got you. Say gang war, you live by the sword, you die by it. They're telling you, please, 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 please don't go down this route. That it only ends in one or two ways. And it all results in one way. That they would have never thought it would have been you. This widow is taking souls, she took minds. This is a high priestess that takes souls. My wife slash lover did this. This is an obsessive lover. 
This is a black widow. How are you taking souls? And they said they don't want you to be the next one. This is somebody that's in your family. Or somebody in your family backdoor somebody for a rap deal. And they're telling you, please, please don't follow the same path. Please. But they love you. Picking up on Regina, Pam, Kamala, Samantha, Sammy, Nigel. Breather, Alter. They telling you that this was a rap deal, and that they sacrificed somebody before in order for their rap deal to take off, and that this caught up to them, but in the form of a lover. They genuinely care about you. And they genuinely, genuinely don't want to see you walk in the path that they cautiously took. That you cautious enough to know not to take. Get your shit together. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. I love y'all. Um, So long, man. Yeah, they're telling you that you're going to be traveling soon. Or you, yeah. Got a proposal coming, or this person made it seem as if they had a proposal. No. This person made it seem as if they had a proposal and could have sacrificed and back to it. All right. Spirit wants you to know that you're healing. Good job. Your ancestors want you to know that you got a proposal coming. Could be a business opportunity venture. Good job. That you're healing. You got a new perspective on things. You're different. Keep chasing your dreams and believe in yourself because you're unique. This proposal could be coming in the summertime, okay? I love y'all. Let me get y'all some music from y'all ancestors. Here we go. Get up out of here, okay? They tell you, please, if you know somebody is doing magic on you and that they a dark high priestess, don't stick around. Because... When they out of options, who do you think they finna run to to try to sacrifice? And if they still hang around you, what do you think they're going to do if you know? They know you know. Break up to make up. The Kalia. My first love, Kiki, Avant, and Wyatt. Could be your first love. Give me a couple more, Spirit. Or Ancestors of what you want them to he said, put that woman first, Jane. Okay, I'm going to cut it how it's like it is. Touch Me, Tease Me, Case, Foxy Brown, Mary J. Blige. I Wish, Carl Thomas, and Come Over, Trey Songs. One more. Motivation, Normani, with The Road, Ray Charles, and Stand Up, Cynthia. Me, Myself, and I, by Beyonce. Can't let you go to somebody that you have a problem letting go. The spirit wants you to know that you have to let this go. I love y'all, spiritual gang gang. Love, namaste, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.